Here we have a really generic little multiple choice question where we are given a p-value of 1%, right? 0 0.01 is 1%. And we're asked to interpret this p-value at the 5% significance level and at the 1% significance level with the specific task of determining whether the appropriate decision could be a type 1 error. So you need to know a couple of things, and you need to know these pretty well. You need to know the rule for interpreting the p-value, and that rule is if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, then the appropriate decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Otherwise, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So if you look at a p-value of 1% and you compare this to both of these significance levels, you will see that this p-value is less than or equal to both of these significance levels. So the appropriate decision at both of these significance levels is to reject the null hypothesis. Now, what type of error is possible? when you reject the null hypothesis? Well, you need to have both of these error types memorized. And it clearly says a type 1 error is rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. Now, of course, the human being doesn't know which hypothesis is true. But since the appropriate decision at both of these significance levels is, in fact, to reject the null hypothesis, then the appropriate decision could be a type 1 error at both of these significance levels. And that makes the correct choice A. Now let's compare that to a question where all we do is we change these type 1 errors into type 2 errors. So this is a copied and pasted question, same significance level. But now we're looking to see whether the appropriate decision could be type 2 errors. So again, at both of these significance levels, as we said before, the appropriate decision is to reject the null because 1% is less than or equal to the significance levels of both 5% and 1%. So that makes the appropriate decision to reject the null hypothesis, which makes a type 1 error possible. But notice, a type 2 error is impossible because it clearly says a type 2 error is failing to reject the null hypothesis. But at both of these significance levels, the appropriate decision is not to fail to reject the null hypothesis. It's to reject the null hypothesis. And so type 2 errors are impossible. And that means the appropriate decision cannot be type 2 errors at either one of these significance levels. Therefore, the correct choice is D. False, false.